Hello and welcome to the garden. Today I'm going to be talking to you about a lovely little plant called Primula Miller's Crimson. I'm really excited today because I finally managed to bring into this garden here a Primula that is very close to our heart. It's one called Miller's Crimson. Just look at those beautiful flowers. And this primula throws up these tall spikes, a tier of flowers, then another spike, then another tier of flowers, and so on. It really is a plant worth growing in any moist area. Now, whilst this spot in the garden isn't particularly moist, it will do, you know, we keep the garden well watered, it will be fine here and it is in a bit of a sort of shady spot. As the day goes on, the afternoon sunshine comes behind us. So just along here, we do get quite a bit of shade and it will just go lovely in this spot. In our cottage garden, many years ago, we had so many of these plants that we'd grown from seed and it was it was heartbreaking to leave them all behind because it was just literally we had a pathway and it was just filled with primulas different types and miller's crimson was one of the stars one of the many stars that we had and we've grown it a few times since but obviously on a much smaller scale as in today i'm here with this one plant but from this one plant we can collect so much seed and grow this on. It's really like bringing an old friend back to the garden because it's something that we grew for so many years and it's something that's really been lacking in our life. You know, when you have a plant that you love, but in your current setup or your current garden, you don't have it. And it's something that was very close to your heart a long time ago. It's so special when you reintroduce that back into your garden. And so I'm gonna dig a hole for this and get this popped into the ground. Obviously, I'll give it a really good water as well when it's in, but I'm so excited. I've chose this little spot here just by the bluebells there. We've got geranium, bluebells, and we've got a small piece of phlox there as well. This phlox is a pink variety, and obviously that's gonna flower in summer, but Miller's Crimson is flowering at the moment, so that's gonna go right in here right next to it it's such an exciting minute i can't contain myself honestly it's going to be great just to get this back into the garden where it should be so i've tried to put it a little bit further away from the flocks because that flock's going to grow really big uh, but don't forget mills crimson is going to go to seed it's going to set we're going to collect seed but it's going to set seed as well so eventually there'll be lots of little primulas in this area That is perfection itself. That is fantastic. And do you know, for a few pounds at the garden centre, that is a well worthwhile plant to grow, to bring back, to place into the garden. I know that it looks amazing and that it's just gonna be fantastic especially next year when it begins to establish and you're going to get the full height of the the plant itself but that looks stunning i'm very happy with that we did actually bring some primula miller's crimson with us when we moved from our cottage garden back to our hometown the problem with that is we put the primulas in pots and then grew them in pots in our courtyard garden they were attacked by vine weevil. Now vine weevil, they live in the soil, they eat the roots, and what happens is you come to your plants one day, you'll come outside, you'll think, oh, the plant doesn't, primula doesn't look very well, and all you have is a little bit of growth on top, you knock it, and it just comes away because all the roots have gone. They literally eat every single bit of root that they can find and, it's not good so 
I would not suggest you grow them in containers at all. I really do not. They're better in the ground doing what they do best. And like I say, they can grow in sun, part shade, but they do like the damp. So please do not put them in dry conditions. You've got primulas, don't have them in dry conditions because they're not going to like that. They're going to die. So I think Miller's Crimson is going to be happy there for a long time to come. Thank you so much for watching my short video on Primula Japonica Miller's Crimson. Thank you for watching and I will definitely see you on the next one.